Hello and welcome to Neverwinter. So I want to do a quick video about Astral Diamonds. I, I did a video about the Zen market and so check that up uh, out if you missed it and it's a the pay to win question of the Zen market itself. I do mention Astral Diamonds in that video but I wanted to ch separate the two. As, the, as I go over there Zen market is not pay to win, it's convenience stuff. Astral Diamonds on the other hand is a form of pay to win. What are Astral Diamonds? Have you played Champions Online or Star Trek Online? Both perfect world games where you can... Um, it's a secondary in-game currency. Which you can get both in-game through some means. You can get small amounts of it. You can uh, you get a quest pretty early, somewhere around level 9 or so. Uh, which allows you to pray to the gods and that gives you Astral Diamonds. Uh, some of the... Uh, quests out there as well give astral diamonds and so forth so you can accumulate them in the game however you can sell zen for astral diamonds and the price of this stuff is going to fluctuate depending how much people are willing to um pay for said astral diamonds so this is uh, this is a mar uh, a bit of an auction house i would say or a trading market where people can get scammed over at if you happen to be buying your astral diamonds at the wrong time and it's gonna be cheaper the next day so might have to keep an eye on that so basically you buy zen or you can actually buy zen with astral diamonds right so if you get astral diamonds from within the game and you want something from the zen market but do not want to buy zen you can transfer your uh, astral diamonds over to zen and buy something from the zen marketplace However, what I'm talking about uh, for these astral diamonds is that if I walk to this guy here, who has this diamond icon on top of him, and I trade with him. Suddenly we are looking at, well, my weapon stab, there is all weapon stab obviously, but I am a guardian fighter, so let's look at my weapons. 21,600 astral diamonds, or 57,600 astral diamonds, and these are straight up weapons you can buy from the vendor. With nothing but astral diamonds, right? So, in essence, the astral diamonds are a form of pay to win because you can buy Zen and then use Zen to get to get said astral diamonds. But you can also get astral diamonds diamonds in the game itself. So keep that in mind. Like you do not necessarily have to put any real money into this game. And you can eventually get everything the guys who put real money into it will as well. Obviously disregarding the uh, some very specific things which are only in the Zen market. Um, uh, well, not the Zen market, but the founders packs. Like uh, those things, obviously... Um, like, I don't think they are putting any, uh, like, some of this stuff, like the spider mount from the draw for the most expensive um, founders pack. I don't think that is going to make its way to the Zen market anytime soon. So, it's likely uh, you will have to shelf out the that amount of real money for the most expensive founders pack if you want said mount. But... Astral Diamonds, you can swap them over to Zen and buy anything from Zen Market. You can swap Zen over to Astral Diamonds and that is form of a pay to win. Except, as I said and I will repeat this, except you can get Astral Diamonds from within the game itself. By doing things which I'll give you Astral Diamonds. And then use those Astral Diamonds to pay for the other stuff. As in the stuff from, for example, this vendor. So, yeah. That is my coverage of Astral Diamonds, whether it's pay to win or not, uh, this is getting kind of close to it. Uh, like, my definition of pay to win is typically being able to buy power. Meaning uh, that uh, you, by pay spending real money, you are more powerful than anyone else. However, um, in this case, you can get the same power by putting in the same amount of time, right? You can get all the astral diamonds you want as long as you have the time to burn to get it all. So technically uh, you are just by spending real money you are not technically buying power over other people uh, on the long term. But for the short term you are so you are skipping some steps easily by 
buying Zen, converting it to astral diamonds, and buying upgrade weapons and armor and stuff. That's what I'm getting at. And that's it basically for this video. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully that clarified a little about the astral diamonds. Also, note to the end, uh, you get kind of large amount of astral diamonds if you pre-order or pre-purchase or whatever it's called one of those founder packs for Neverwinter Online. So uh, while they are still out there, if you really want one, if you really are into this game, I suggest getting one of the cheaper ones and checking how much astral diamonds you get one out of it. I don't see the point of shelving a huge amount of money for the like most expensive founders pack, but that's me. I don't. I didn't see that as being worth the money. That's my view. Your view might differ. I personally picked the second most expensive one and it seemed to do its job kinda well. But enough rambling. That was, uh, that was about astral diamonds and stuff. Thank you very much for watching.